Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to find the integrals of exponential functions for bases other than e. Now, what that means, the formula will look something like this. It'll call base a, where a might be a 5 or a 7. It could be any base other than e. Now to solve this, let's back up a little bit, something that you've previously done. And in most calculus courses, you should have just gotten finished with this process right here. The integral of e to the u is e to the u, and so you've completed some problems that look like that. Now, the reason we're going to look at this is we will need this formula to find the integral for bases other than e. So with this in mind, now just remember the integral of e to the u is e to the u. Now let's go back to the problem that we're interested in. So what we want is this. Uh, we want to find the integral uh, of base a, so any base other than e. And oddly enough, the trick to this is this. If you want to find, to derive this formula, you first of all need to change it from a base a problem back into a base e problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'll do, I'll make this be the integral of, I think I'll think of this as being in parentheses right here. So think of this a as being inside parentheses. So here's the parentheses right here. And I'm going to change, I think I'll put it in red so it kind of stands out. To change this from base A back into base E, this would be E raised to the natural log of A. And then I'll finish up the integral here. So this will be in parentheses, and then here's that x right there, here's the x up here, then you've got dx. Now some students are a little confused, where did this come from? So before we go on, let's just go back and remind you of how do you change an A, a base A, into a base E. So let's take a quick look at that uh, and just the algebra behind that. Okay, now on this one, um, the formula looks like this. If you want to change base A into a base B, the formula just says it's the log of A to the base B. And this is a formula from back in your log and exponential work. And just as an example, suppose let's just say so we have this. Suppose I've got a base 5, and I want to change that into a base 7. Then all you have to do, just using the rule, just make it be this. Take 7 and raise it to the log of 5 to the base 7 power. And these two are equal. So you've changed a base 5 into a base 7. And it's based on the fact that whatever this is, if this is a 7 here, then you need a 7 here. And that's what the rule says. So in our problem, what we've got is this. We've got a base A, and we want to change it into a base E. Well, using this rule, you just raise it to the log of A to the base E power, so that it agrees with this. But you might remember, a log to a base E is nothing more than the natural log. So that'll turn into the natural log of A. And this is where that change comes from. So if you want to change A into E, you just use this little formula right here to do it. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go back now and finish up our problem. So what we've got is this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'll take this, and remember whenever you have a power raised to a power, you can multiply those together. So this is going to become the integral of e raised to the, I think I'll put it in parentheses, the natural log of a times x dx. So remember, a power raised to a power, we can change to multiplication. Now what this is going to be, uh, we can now use it, we've got it in the form of an integral of e, so we can use this rule right here and uh, find the integral of that function. But because it's something more complicated than just a simple x, you're going to have to use u substitution. So let's go over and do the u substitution on this one. So what I'll do is let u be equal to the exponent of this thing. So u is equal to the natural log of a times x. Now I want the derivative of that. So find the derivative of u with respect to x. And just a reminder here, the natural log of a, this is a constant, so it's like having 3x. The derivative of 3x would be 3. So since that's a constant, then the derivative of the natural log of x, that's just going to turn into the natural log of a. And that means then that du would be equal to uh, the natural log of a, and we'll take this dx here. Now again, as far as the u substitution goes, 
well, it's going to work like this. I'm trying to get rid of this dx in my u substitution. Well, here's that dx, so to make that match up, um, I don't need this natural log. I'll move it to this side. So this becomes 1 over the natural log of a. Then I've got a du here is equal to dx. Now what that is, that's my u substitution. So uh, I needed a dx, and I've got a dx. And in place for the u substitution, I'll replace it with this part right here. So that's going to be my u substitution. So again, we'll just isolate this by putting a little box around it. And that's going to be the u substitution right there. So there is the u substitution. Okay, what that does to the problem then, it changes it into this. This is going to become equal to um, the integral. This will change into e to the u and in place of dx, put what it's equal to, which would be 1 over the natural log of a uh, du. Again, 1 over, this is a constant, 1 over the natural log of a is a constant. You can bring a constant outside the integral. So we'll make this be 1 over the natural log of a times the integral of e to the u du. Now, so here's 1 over the natural log of a. And a reminder, the integral of e to the u, we'll go back to our formula here, the integral of e to the u is e to the u. So that will get you to the integral of e to the u is e to the u, and then we'll tack on a plus c. And then that becomes 1 over the natural log of a. And in place of u, we'll put what u is equal to. So um, this becomes e raised to the natural log of a. Uh, to the x power times an x here, and then plus c. Again, you can think of this as being in parentheses right here. And then the very last step will be to do this. Um, in the original step, you changed it from a base a to a base e. In the very last step, go backwards. Change it from a base e right back into a base a again. So this thing right here just turns into an a, and you wind up with 1 over the natural log of a, and this turns into, um, this would be a raised to the x power plus c. So what that is, that's going to be the integral, and we'll put a little box around this one. The formula looks like this. So to find the integral of bases other than e, um, you can use this little derivation. And the trick is change it from a base a problem into a base e problem, find that integral, and then change it back into a base a problem again. And that's the formula for the integral of, I'll put it on this side, so would be the integral of a to the x dx would be equal to this right here. So there's a quick derivation of the formula for the integrals of bases other than e.